We are in Windows Server 2016. I'm going to show you how to recover or reset a lost password in case you lost your administrator password. Uh, it just takes about four minutes to do, so it doesn't take long, and you'll be back up and running again without purchasing anything. So what we need to do is we need to boot off of the DVD, or in my case, an ISO file, because I'm doing this through a virtual machine. Now, it doesn't matter if you're doing virtual machine or physical machine, just boot off of uh, the Windows disk, and then you, you can go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose an ACPI shutdown, and we can go ahead and continue. So the important thing is when you get to the point where it says boot off DVD, make sure you press the key so it boots off of the DVD. And when it boots up, then we will have a couple more tasks to do. Now, the reason I'm doing this through a virtual uh, machine rather than a physical machine is so you can see everything I'm doing. Otherwise, you can't really see uh, unless I just put a video camera on the screen, which isn't very good quality. So we'll go ahead and click Next and choose Repair Your Computer. So it doesn't matter if you're physical or virtual, you're going to do this the exact same way. Go ahead and click the Troubleshoot option. Click on Command Prompt. And now we're going to go ahead and type in Disk Part from the Command Prompt. And Disk Part is going to tell us which volume Windows is on. So we go ahead and type Disk Part, and then we're going to type List Vol, hit Enter. And we can see three different partitions. So which one is our Windows partition? Well, it's pretty easy to tell. CD-ROM is not it. The second one is only 500 megs. That's not it. So it's got to be our 31 gigabyte partition. So let's go ahead and type exit. And we'll type the letter D because that is what that partition is. So type D colon, hit enter. And now I'll type CLS just to clear the screen and get us back to the top of the screen. All right, so we have to type a couple of commands. CD Windows to change directory to Windows. And CD again, System32. So now we've changed to System32. Now we're going to rename the utilman.exe file. So what that does is it normally gives us the electronic keyboard for people with disabilities. So we'll type in rename utilman.exe to utilman.old. Or you can use 123, 456, whatever it is you want. Now we need to type in copy cmd.exe to utilman.exe. So all we've really done here is we've replaced the util man with a command prompt. And that's what we need to do in order to reset our password. Go ahead and type exit. And then we'll type continue on to Windows Server 2016. Now do not press the button here where it says boot from DVD. Just go ahead and let it continue. And it doesn't matter which virtual software you're using. You could use Hyper-V, VMware. This all works the same way uh, as a physical computer as well. We're back at our login screen. Let's go ahead and scroll down, and we're going to click where it says Ease of Access. So depending on what version of Windows you're on, sometimes it's on the left side, sometimes it's on the right side, but the icon looks the same regardless of how you do it. All right, so now we are in a command prompt where we can reset our password. So we're going to go ahead and type net user administrator, and now we're going to type in our password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in password, and I'm, uh, if, I'm, if I'm resetting the Active Directory domain password, I can do that as well. I can just do forward slash domain. Now, in my case, this computer is not a domain controller. I just want to get into the local server itself. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this slash domain. But if you're trying to reset Active Directory, that's all you got to do, and it'll reset the administrator for the domain as well. All right, so I'll go ahead and hit Enter. It says it was successful. Type Exit. And now I can type my password I just reset. And there it is. I'm logging in. I've now recovered my lost administrator password, and I'm back in business. Now, this works also for 2012, 2008, and it works on client versions, Windows 10, 8, and 7, as well as Vista, in case anybody's still using that. So that's how you reset a lost or forgotten administrator password in Windows Server 2016.